Hi, this is Dr. Richardson, and I wanted to show you guys a little bit about how to go about recording your part for the piece that you're going to be performing. So, just going to show you around for a few, or show you a few things first. First thing you might want to do is go ahead and name your song right here where it says Untitled Song. So, I'm going to be recording Mary Had a Little Lamb. And then if you have that name there, it's easy to go ahead and hit the save button. And that way, you know, you have your project saved. Uh, you'll notice I accidentally moved the cursor over here when I did that. So you can click and drag this all the way over here. Or you can also use the buttons down at the bottom of your screen to get back to the very beginning. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have your music learned. Please make sure you have practiced your part before you sit down to record. Then when you're ready to sit down and record, you're going to add a new track to this new file. And you're going to choose voice and microphones so it can record live audio. So you've got a couple options to record. You can hit this big red button here in the middle of the screen. Or you can come down here and hit this little red dot uh, here. You can close the studio and just use the red dot if you want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my metronome because the metronome is vital to being able to get other people's parts to line up with yours. So what I'm going to do is go to my metronome settings. I like the clave sound and I'm going to go back again and turn the volume up by clicking and just dragging my mouse and you see how it turned the volume up there for me. Uh, also, I want to keep two bars of count in uh, because that way it gives me plenty of time to get the tempo in my head to be ready to play. Once I've got all that set, I'm going to turn my metronome on by clicking that button. I can adjust my tempo here by typing it in, but I'm going to keep it at 120 for this example. And then I'm going to play my part. Here it goes. And you'll notice up here, you can see the sound waves of what you just recorded. To go back to the beginning of the track to listen to it, all you have to do is hit this button and then hit play. You're going to notice the metronome and the sound don't line up. Don't worry about it. It's okay. All right, so I have now recorded my part. And I am now going to come up here to File. And I'm going to click Save again, just to make sure it's saved. I could have also used the little purple Save button right here. It was purple a minute ago. It's gray now because I just saved it. And then I'm going to come down here and export my file to an MP3 file. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I want to be able to share that file with someone else in the class. So did you notice it just said that it was going to take a second to get it to actually export? It's because their little server is working. So you may have to go back and try it a couple different times as the project is being mixed on our servers. Please try again in a minute. So it may take it a second before you're able to do this, and that's okay. There we go. You notice down here, all of a sudden, it has now downloaded. Okay. So at this point, let's pretend that someone has decided to collaborate with me and they have contacted me and shared by using this up here, right? All you have to do is go in and type in somebody's name. So for example, if I wanted Daniel, I have multiple Daniels here that have so, uh, shown up. You see emails and names out to the side. All right. So I'm not going to do that, though. I'm going to go ahead and pretend that this is someone else's file that they have sent to me, shared with me with this button. All right. Well, I want to add a file that I have created. So to do that, 
I'm going to come over here to add new track, but in, this time, instead of voice and microphones, I'm going to come down to import file, and I'm going to choose a file. Well, the part that I have previously recorded is now Mary's bass part right here. So I'm going to click open, and you notice it brings it in right there. And if I hit play, these parts should line up. You will notice the metronome is not sounding like it's on beat. So to hear if it lines up, you might just want to turn that metronome off, hit this button to go back to the beginning, and listen again. Hopefully you can hear that the parts actually do line up when you turn that metronome off. So once you have your file that you've now imported into someone else's file, again, you want to make sure and save it. Save the file. If you are doing this in real time with someone and having a conversation, so let's say, for example, over here, I have invited somebody and you start having a conversation in this window, you see how you can call someone, then you will want to occasionally come up and hit the sync button. Where, um, and I'm trying to remember where that is. Oh, right here. This is your sync button. Okay. So just make sure that the easy way to do it is just to get your file recorded and then just share the file and then just add your track. But anyway, come up here to File, then click Export. And when you click Export, that now will export the entire MP3, both tracks that are on here. And if I open this in whatever music player, hopefully my music player is going to work. One day. Here we go. Hopefully, there it is right there. And now you can hear both parts playing. That's the file that you should turn into the Dropbox, the completed file that has both tracks that you've exported to an MP3. Again, if you want to, you can add as many parts as you like. So if you'd like to add all five instrumental parts for an orchestra piece to this, you can collaborate with multiple people. Uh, the idea here is to try and give you guys something fun that you can create and hopefully sound good, okay? So this has just been a quick tutorial. If you do have questions, you can email me and I will try and help you as much as possible. Uh, we can even start like a Google chat window or something like that, probably in G Suite. So it just depends on how we need to do this. Or I can even get in here and chat with you via this collaborator thing. So have fun. Let me know if you need help.